Hello everyone, so I've noticed something where um, with my NVIDIA graphics card, sometimes I will end up running at around 40 frames per second on some games when I could do way better than that. And those games in particular happen to be Minecraft and GTA 5 as some examples. Now I've found a way to fix this. and. If anyone happens to also have a NVIDIA graphics card like mine, or has one released around the same time as mine, then this may help you. And hopefully you'll be able to use these steps that I'm going to show you in this video to actually raise your frames per second. Now, I have MSI Afterburner, which I keep open in every game that I play so that I can see how well my computer is doing, like, how hot is my CPU, what time is it, how hot is my GPU, how much load is on my GPU, and so on and so forth. And what you may notice here is that there's two GPUs. I'll get onto that later on, but basically, in order to solve this issue where you have 40 frames, you have to go through one specific thing, and honestly, I would have never guessed that it would be in here. But when it comes to actually fixing this problem, what I do is I go over to the NVIDIA settings, right click it, and open GeForce Experience. Now, I would have thought that the setting would have been under the control panel, but it wasn't. It's under GeForce Experience. And you go into settings, it'll open in general, but go down to games and then completely turn off whisper mode by clicking this thing here. And then that way, instead of being stuck at a certain amount of frames, no matter what you do, you'll be able to freely use however much frames you want to. And the funny thing is, whisper mode doesn't do anything for my laptop because even though I have this turned on, some games will still run at a really puny 40 frames per second while having the fans spinning and whirring loudly. So, just turn that off and you should be able to play games at 50 or 60 frames and you won't have any issues with it. And that's something that I really appreciate. So, hopefully that was helpful for you, but I'm gonna move on to the next step in case that didn't quite help you out. Before I really end the video here, I just want to take a moment to let you guys know that there's also one more area that you should check if you're still having issues, and it's that sometimes your processor can come with integrated graphics. And this can cause issues because some games may, for whatever reason, default to your integrated graphics instead of your graphics card. So in order to make sure that this doesn't happen, you can go into NVIDIA settings under control panel. And once it opens, I'm not sure if it opens to this exact tab when you first start it, but under Manage 3D Settings, you should have an option for Preferred Graphics Processor. Make sure it's set to High Performance NVIDIA Processor, or whatever it says for your processor there, and not Integrated Graphics. And under Program Settings, if that still doesn't work, make sure that a certain game... Uh, make sure that something is actually running on it. Like, for example, I had to actually, for a while, set it as a High Performance NVIDIA Processor, because it defaulted to my integrated graphics. And it did not run pretty at all. <laughs> so yeah, I hope this has been helpful and maybe this happened to help you out. Thanks for watching.